Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. So this week, I'm looking at a really spectacular passage out of Isaiah 41, zeroing in on verse 10. Let's get some background. Let me ask you a couple of questions. First of all, uh, how's life going? Are these good days? Any chores or difficulties in your life? Are you facing anything that might leave you bewildered or trying to figure something out? Are there issues in life where you just don't have the answers? Are you maybe struggling for meaning or struggling against depression or worry or anxiety? Uh, do you have any health issues that are really burdening you or relationship issues that are tugging at your heart or tugging at your mind? And leave you wondering what to do? If any of that fits you, then this verse is for you. If you're not at that place right now in your life, hang on to this anyway, because I promise you will be if you live long enough. That's the nature of life. So in this passage in Isaiah, <clears throat> the prophet is speaking the mouth of God. It's like the, the prophet Isaiah is the speaker. And God is Spotify, or the, the song that's playing through the speaker. And in that, God says, don't fear. He says, because I'm with you. And that's what we talked about yesterday. Go back and listen to it if you want to. And I talked how yesterday, in Hebrew, you can take this sound. It sounds like ka. It's a cough with a, a, a vocalization of an ah under it that that you put on at the end of a word and it means you, it, it personalizes it. And over and over in this passage, God personalizes it. He's talking about you. And he says, don't fear because I am with you. And, and um, that is just, that's powerful. Imka ani, with you, I, is what God says in the Hebrew. And then, God says, and the way some people translate it is, don't be dismayed. And it says, because I'm your God. Now, that's what I want to focus on right now. Don't be dismayed because I am your God. And, and that's, that's pretty incredible. Ani Elohecha. I'm your God. Now, the word for dismayed uh, tishtaha, uh, tishta is, is, is it, it, it gives this idea behind it. It means don't look around everywhere. They translate it bewildered because they're kind of struggling how to translate it. But I mean, literally, it, it, it conveys this picture of don't look around everywhere because I'm your God, God say. See, when, when we get dismayed, when we get perplexed, when we're facing struggles and we don't have the answer, the temptation is always to look around everywhere. Maybe this will help. Maybe that'll help. Maybe this will help. Maybe that'll help. Maybe we just need to stick our head in the sand and pretend it's not happening. Maybe we need to drink ourselves numb. Maybe we just need to, to you know, fill in the blank. But God says... Don't look around everywhere else. Maybe I could translate this best. Don't lose your focus. I'm your God. See, when God is not just God, but he's personalized. You put that ka at the end. Elohecha, your God. God says, ani Elohecha, I am your God. Why on earth do we need to look anywhere else? So maybe you say, yeah, but I don't really see God. Yeah, aren't you glad you're not, your God is not some limited physical being that's either here or there? Your God and my God is one grander than the universe. He holds the whole universe in the palm of his hand. He is beyond our ability to understand or comprehend, but we are not beyond his ability, and that's the key. 
So we look to God. We don't get distracted. We call upon the name of the Lord. That means his character, who he is, what he's done. We call for him to intervene in our life, to give us direction. And then we walk in faith that he will. And sometimes we're crawling step by step, just making it moment to moment, day to day. But when we're focused on God, we have the assurance that at the end, it's all going to work out. That's your video thought for the day. More coming tomorrow from Isaiah 41. God bless you.